when I started as an entrepreneur, I was always more looking out there, like outside of myself, trying to find answers. And today I kind of more seek the answers inside of myself. It's like good and good enough, so you gotta be great. And I'm gonna do whatever it takes. Doing what I love with life and I'll pay the price. And not stopping even if the shit kills me, even if it kills me. Hi everyone and welcome to uh, Matt Grun Talks. This is episode 88. My name is Matthias Grunborg, aka Matt Grun, and I'm the founder of the HubSpot agency I Go Moon. And here I share my scaling up journey when I'm building this company from nothing to something. And uh, with me, we also have my co-host Svia, Malina Lanshoff. <laughs> How are you doing today, Svia? I'm doing great. And you know what? This is where entrepreneurship runs smack into reality, just uh, so that I don't forget that. And uh, yeah, you know what? Uh, we don't have time to lose. I would say let's jump right into the episode and maybe you want to explain what we do on the different days because we have different de- uh, topics for different days. So I want to share that for the newcomers. Yes, uh, so uh, today, Monday, I'm talking about my personal development journey, uh, growing as a leader, and um, on Wednesday, I talk more about the things I'm learning in the entrepreneurial process. Um, It's more about business development, uh, you know, cash, strategy, execution, and on Friday, I share my weekly inventory. Stuff I could have done different or better during the week and uh, stuff I learned. And also, we are talking about the victories. Yeah. Or as you say, the, uh, the diary. My, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I see like uh, the entire uh, vlog as a diary. Yeah, actually, absolutely. Because yeah. this is uh, my attempt to uh, documenting my uh, journey yeah. as an entrepreneur. Yeah. Then I'd start to document because uh, you just said on uh, Mondays so you talk about your self-development journey, for example. And uh, actually, let's jump right into that topic because the topic for today is really connected to self-development and how yeah. you change. It's just the key word here, changed over the years, maybe. Um, because, um, yeah, we've talked about like um, a couple of other topics before, how you evolved over the time and how you worked on yourself. But maybe when you look at yourself, in the beginning of your entrepreneurial career journey, uh, whatever you want to call it. And now when you compare the two Matthias that you have been then and now, um, are there some big changes you notice in yourself? And these could be positive and negative, like anything you notice in yourself. Oh, (laughs) always uh, good questions uh, coming from your side. Like the first thing that comes up is uh, one of the bigger changes, uh, you know, if I'm looking at myself from an entrepreneurial perspective and on my personal development uh, journey, I think I'm much more purpose driven uh, Mm -hmm. today uh, compared 10 years ago. Okay. So. um, Can you give an example for that? Yeah, I'm uh, more, uh, I think you can look uh, at what I'm doing with Igo Moon and the story I'm building around the company. And uh, I think I shared about this in an early episode, how you kind of uh, building uh, the vision for your company when you are looking uh, back and actually connecting the dots. And that really fuels uh, yeah. the, the entire rocket ship. And uh, and I also talked in an early episode uh, when you were th- uh, asking me about uh, and what being an authentic leader means for me, I think it's really connected to that. Yeah. Yeah. I think you also said that usually you don't start a company and you already have like everything in place, like the mm. vision and the story and everything. It comes over time. Right. And that is something that has changed for you. What are some yeah. other things that you can think of, especially also maybe on a, yeah, on a personal level, maybe also some some habits you didn't have back then and like i said could be good or bad maybe you have also some some negative examples i think uh, if i should continue talk about uh, what i just said mm. i think the uh, there's a big difference like when i started um as an entrepreneur i was always more looking 
out there, like outside of myself, yeah. trying to find answers. And today I kind of more seek the answers inside of myself. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think uh, um, my ability to do that actually comes from that I have a like a bigger portion of self-esteem uh, compared to when I started. Yeah. And um, and um, yeah, and you, I, I can really feel that you, you are kind of um, trying to balance in the question: Is there any negativity <laughs> or or anything on that side? And uh, like the first thing that comes to my mind is, um, you know, something I always try to be self-aware of, uh, mm-hmm. and uh, like there's a thin line, you know, where, as an entrepreneur when you. You know, you try to win, and you really want. You're always striving forward, and and I think something uh, when there's like an alarm bell coming up today is uh, is I'm not pushing as far as I did ten years ago mm-hmm. to be right to be you know to like win every uh, like you know every debate or. Um, because I have realized it doesn't take uh, us, you know, towards the bigger picture or, it, yeah. you know, uh, there's, you know, in Swedish you say something, uh, what is most important, being happy or being right? Okay, like, yeah, that's a good do, one. Do you know what I mean? Like, yes. Um, and and sometimes I I can, you know, find myself like in these moments like hey like what what am i doing what what i'm trying to really reach here like yeah. in this discussion uh, so um maybe that's also something that comes with with aging i think that is definitely something when you get more like secure about yourself and you don't have to like um defend yourself for everything or like you said win every debate because you just you know for yourself What's right, I'm, you know? I mean, yes, because, uh, and, and it's like, you know, it's the, in these moments, you you know where you start like a discussion and you actually know something. And then you, <laughs> during, that discu- you during that discussion, you kind of, the topic change and you are still yeah. kind of debating the, and, and then I can like, I can really hear my, my own voice like inside of myself, like, Am I really sure now, or have I kind of what, what am I pushing for here? Like, yeah. is it to be the right, uh, being right, or saying the la- having the last word, or like, okay, let's take a step back here. And yeah. so, uh, like, you know, when I'm pushing in that direction, uh, which I'm uh, still doing, uh, then I'm not proud of myself. Uh, mm-hmm. So that's definitely something uh, we could add to like, the list yeah the, yeah the character <laughs> defect yeah. character of defects list or something <laughs> okay uh, is there anything um why you want to add to your list of changes you've knowledge over the years or was that the the big things you talked about i i i don't think i have anything more to say right now okay. um but you know yeah. what, um, there's uh, something else that uh, is maybe a bit off topic, but behind the scenes, uh, we were talking uh, about something you have next to your computer, actually, I think to your right, could that be? There's a list um, of things you should do for, for self-care, because um, I think so, it's so, some episodes ago, I asked you what uh, advice you could give to yourself, to your younger self, and you said something like, um, be nicer or be kinder to yourself, I think. Uh, and I believe that is also very connected to like taking care of yourself. And I know you have a list there with some like, uh, I think daily things or something you should do. Maybe you can share this uh, with all of us. I think that's very interesting. Yeah, so I have a like a post-it or like just a <laughs> small piece of paper here. Like, uh, I don't know if oh, you okay. can see. Yeah. yeah, no, yeah, nice. So. Uh... <laughs> 12 steps what? to self-care okay yeah exactly 12 steps to self-care so uh, it's just you know uh, one-liners to remind myself about uh, 
like the things uh, I was just sharing about actually. Yeah. So um, it's it's a it's about uh, being uh, more happy. Yeah. So uh, yes. Can you share them with us? Ah, do you want me to read like yes. everyone? Or... Yeah. Okay. I think it's, it's valuable. Yeah. Okay. So um, uh, if it number one, if it feels wrong, don't do it. Mm. And um, number two, say exactly what you mean. And and that's really good. Uh, um, like the, I think the full version of of that is say exactly what you mean. Yeah. Uh, and mean what you say, but don't be mean when you say it. Oh wow! Okay. <laughs> that's a nice uh, wordplay. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it is. Uh, number three, don't be a people pleaser. Mm. Number four, trust your instincts. Uh, I think I shared about that yeah, one big a one little for bit. You, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, even when you ask your quest, your first question, I think I was talking about that one. Mm. Number five, never speak bad about yourself. Uh, number six, uh, never give up on your dreams. Number seven, don't be afraid to say no. Mm. Uh, eight, don't be afraid to say yes. <laughs> Number nine, be kind to yourself. Yeah. Ten, let go of what you can't control. Number eleven, stay away from drama and negativity. Mm. And uh, number twelve is uh, love. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, it's a good list. Yes, and, definitely. Uh, I like I like a lot of them. I think also the part. Uh, where you said like don't be afraid to say no and don't be afraid to say yes I think that's a fun one and I, and I, I a bit laughed about this one because um, I think also the don't be afraid to say no is kind of connected to don't be a people pleaser because for those people including me it's hard to say no to something but it's also equally important to know when you need to say yes and take an opportunity and just uh, to that list I have one more question um, when you look at these things and I know you're, you're trying to um yeah work with this list and uh, acknowledge these things um are there still some things that are still hard for you today or you you're working on to to actually do it what it's written on your list yeah i mean everything is hard <laughs> so, <laughs> all right i think uh, i mean in one way when you introduced the question and you were talking about okay like when you started the journey mm. like if you look at yourself i mean one of the biggest things uh, is actually like back then i was uh less aware you know myself mm. uh, and and like from an internal perspective and i think uh, i mean that journey never ends right so yeah. one of the biggest difference today compared back then is actually uh, you know, I'm, you know, I'm not a saint, like I, 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 I'm not the answer to everything. And over the years, you also realize how, I mean, how little you actually know and, yeah. and like you are always learning. So I think, uh, the list is so important just to remind myself I'm, I'm just a human being, you know? Yeah. So um, uh, I wouldn't say it's easier today. Uh, <laughs> okay, like, yeah, but like you said, you're maybe more more aware of it today. I'm. That's the thing. Like, yeah. uh, and I think that's also, um, like over the years, I think there's a difference of uh, how should I say, um, like wisdom versus knowledge. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, uh, because wisdom, you could actually, you know, you can look back and you, and you can use, uh, your experiences actually to, uh, step in to what you face tomorrow with more confidence, actually knowing like, okay, as long as I'm doing, uh, the best, you know, I, I can't really control what, uh, the outcome is from yeah. all perspectives. So. Uh, in that in uh, that way, I think it makes me more happier. Okay, 
That's nice. Yeah, I like that you you pointed out also that uh, we are still changing and always learning. I have the same experience, and I think you can probably learn until the last uh, day of your life. There's always something new, and you're changing. You have to adapt to new things. So yeah, it's a journey, and I think that's uh, the end of this episode. Okay. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, cutting you off here. No, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> thank you for sharing your experience and this list because I think uh, I'm gonna take some of these points uh, into my own list uh, it really inspired me I think it's cool to have that and also have it somewhere visible where you constantly are reminded of that because I think a lot of things you you know you should but you just forget them yeah all right then uh, thank you guys for watching if you like what we are doing uh, maybe you want to subscribe that will make our day also leave a comment if there's anything you would love to know or have an episode about uh, we would love to have some input and otherwise see you in the next one hopefully Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye. Bye-bye.